everyone. Welcome home. My name is Jarrell. This is my YouTube channel, Mountain Home. Today, I wanted to share with you some tips and advice on keeping your banjo clean. Now, it's important to keep your banjo clean because a clean banjo will play longer and play better than a dirty banjo. So, it's very simple. The first thing you do is just grab your trout bag in which you keep your instrument accessories. Open up your trout bag and go ahead and grab your two microfiber cloths. Now, it's important to keep track of having two separate microfiber cloths. One is for cleaning the strings and the other is for cleaning the body and the other components of the banjo. Now it's important also to use two different colors so you can keep track of the uh, purpose for each of the cloths. And It's important to use colors that are distinct so that you can easily tell them apart. So in general it's a rule of thumb to use something like sky blue and cloud blue because those are two very distinct colors and if you're playing in a venue that's very dark or the lighting isn't so good, you need to be able to tell the color of your cloths apart very easily. So this is a good color scheme. I recommend going with cloud blue and sky blue because you'll always be able to tell which one is which very easily. And also it's a good memory cue as to which one is supposed to do what. So when you are playing the instrument, it's always important to wash your hands thoroughly and dry your hands, especially if you've been eating chicken wings or if your friend's been eating chicken wings and doesn't wash his hands. Um, this is also true for KFC or a, a big greasy a burger from your favorite local restaurant. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my cloud blue cloth and what I will do is just go ahead and slip this under the strings. Now I'm going to say that I haven't been playing much on the fifth string there so what I will do is just slip the string underneath all of these I'll slip the cloth underneath all the strings here. And as you slide it underneath, you want to make sure that you get underneath the strings. And you go ahead and just bring that up. And you can just see I'm pulling back against the fretboard. And I can just clean my finger oils off the fretboards. And I'm skipping the fifth string there because I want to be able to clean the fretboard there. And I also pull up a bit as well as I up, I can clean the strings. Now if you've just been playing briefly, you can clean the strings uh, like that, but it's good to get your finger oils and any dirt that's on the fretboard to get that off. You don't want to tarnish your frets as well as I have seen frets with uh, chicken wing grease um, causing the frets to um, tarnish and rust. So you can pull up on the strings a bit, not, not too much, you don't want to pull them out of the slots. Uh, you can also clean one string individually in such a way as well. So you will see I'll do this. This is I don't do this all the time every once in a while. So what I will do is I will actually twist the string or twist the cloth um, and that applies uh, some sort of wrapping force along the string and I'll just slide that up and I'll slide that back. So it isn't necessary to do that every single time you play the instrument but every other week or so and you'll find that you do get a fair of grit off those strings. Now, at least, at the very least, give your strings a wipe thusly. And when you do that, you'll find that your strings will last significantly longer uh, and you'll be able to play them for longer and maintain that sparkle without having to uh, replace them so often. So, now that you've finished with your cloud blue cloth, you want to put that back into your trout bag where it will stay clean and organized. And then you grab your sky blue cloth now I like to check for the chrome, especially on the banjos that have a fair amount of chrome. And it's just good to find where they have any sort of oils and give them a cloth. It's generally not a good idea to use water because water can be unpredictable and it contains all kinds of minerals uh, that can damage uh, different surfaces on your instrument. The wood parts of your instrument can absorb the water. So even if you see, uh, say, some of your arm sweat has gotten onto the armrest. Go ahead and just give it a little bit of your breath there and that will actually help you get the oils off. Now it's important to get the oils off of the chrome of your banjo as the oils from your arm will cause it to tarnish. I use uh, these uh, arm things. They're like athletic arm. I don't, I'd have to look up <laughs> what I uh, Search up. I just bought them on eBay, a pack of two for like three dollars, something like that. But that uh, I generally use those when I'm playing, especially during performances, as it I don't get caught up 
Uh, as you can see, I don't, if I get sweaty, I won't get caught up on the armrest, uh, as I do rely on the armrest to apply pressure um, to stabilize uh, my grip. And that also prevents uh, my uh, arm sweat from getting on the instrument, especially if I'm playing a, a, a guitar or a mandolin. I don't really want to get all that um, sweat on there. And I know that some people have acid sweat. I don't, um, but if I did have acid sweat, I would certainly definitely use one of these arm... Uh, I don't even know what you'd call them. Arm, arm sleeve, arm, arm, arm sleeves. So, I'm just going to visually check the instrument and see if it's got any sort of dirt or oil on it. And again, I'm using the sky blue cloth. It's important not to confuse your sky blue with your cloud blue because they are very distinct colors and you don't want to mix it up. And the reason being is that you will get particles and dirt off the strings using your sky blue cloth. You could get chicken wing grease off of there. And you don't want to end that, end up rubbing that all over the other parts of the instrument. So, it's generally a good idea to use diff two different cloths, one for the body, and one for the strings. As often you'll find that it gets quite black uh, where you have cleaned the strings. So, I use these very uh, fine fibers on these microfiber cloths, very smooth. Um, I strongly recommend against using these really bumpy ones. You can see how bumpy this is. I would absolutely recommend against this as these tend to fall apart when you are cleaning different parts of the instrument and it will actually wrap fibers along your strings. Not very pleasant. These don't actually do any job cleaning your instrument. They're not great, so I wouldn't recommend them. So again, go ahead and grab your trout bag and uh, you can keep your cloths in there. You can uh, when you see that your cloths are getting dirty and you uh, are a little bit dubious, if you start seeing um, black on there, you can rinse that under the tap, uh, give that a good clean, and you can dry that out and use that again. I'll just step off camera very quickly and grab one more thing to show you. Now this is a jewelry polish cloth. These are fantastic. You can grab them for a few dollars for a pack of 10, 15, 20. Now, it's great to use these maybe once a month or so if you don't want to keep changing your strings all the time. I'll show you, I'll pick a spot that's clean right there. And what I will do now is I'll use this jewelry polish cloth. And I'll go ahead and, as you can see here, so I'll pinch and I'll twist so I can apply a wrapping force onto that string. I'll slide that up and then down, I'll slide that up, and then down again. And you can see it's actually got, it's turned a bit black from that, so it is actually polishing that string and cleaning it. And it, from my personal experience, it does add, it does, when your strings start losing their sparkle, uh, this isn't the same as replacing those strings, but it sure as heck is close it sounds great. It does bring significant sparkle back to your instrument. It makes them sound alive again. And if you are in a position where you don't have time to change your strings and you need your strings to sound lively and alive, you can see that it has polished up that wound string a significant amount. So these are very cheap, easy to get. So those are my tips on keeping your banjo clean and just some general maintenance. <laughs>